You will hate JoJo Siwa after this. Do you want to win any of these items on your screen? If so, be sure to watch the whole video, leave a like, and comment the hidden message. And with that being said, let's get right into the video. Whether you like her or not, you have probably heard of JoJo Siwa. Hey everyone, it's JoJo, welcome back! A young singer and dancer with a sizable YouTube following. Although most of JoJo Siwa's fans are very young, she does have older fans who, quite literally, got to see her grow up over the course of her time on the reality TV show, Dance Moms. With fans across the globe, JoJo Siwa puts out a positive message about standing up to bullies and loving yourself. But is she really that wholesome in real life? Here are some incidents that changed fans' view of her over the years. Number one, her fake personality. JoJo Siwa seems to have her brand down to a science. She presents herself as a quirky, energetic, and wholesome goofball who loves to do pranks, challenges, and lifetime stories. Since her main demographic is primarily kids and young preteens, she has to put on a very wholesome act that is, by and large, inoffensive. In reality, she is still a 16-year-old girl and is far more mature than her loud persona may lead you to believe. Jojo Siwa is truly an enigma in the way she presents herself. Most people are confused when they find out her real age. However, many fans believe that this is nothing more than an act put on for the camera, and a very convincing one at that. Jojo Siwa's caffeinated rants and outbursts would be almost impossible to keep up constantly, especially for someone who is on tour all the time. One would imagine that this would be especially taxing on her family, as Jojo Siwa's rants and fast speech can be irritating to some people. Nevertheless, Siwa has doubled down and has told fans and interviewers that it is not an act at all, and that she is always that energetic and positive. Everyone has bad days, and nobody is accusing Jojo Siwa of being a monster. It's just hard for a human being to be positive all the time. Number two, her infamous ponytail. As stated before, Jojo Siwa's brand is possibly the most important thing to her. Brand recognition is everything, and Jojo Siwa's team have been able to create some instantly recognizable aspects of Jojo Siwa's style the younger kids, that younger kids can recognize when they see her on YouTube or one of her products in the store. Some of the most recognizable aspects of Jojo Siwa's brand are the large bow clips that have become a crazed trend with elementary schoolers, her glittery and sugary aesthetic, and her tight, large ponytail. While most people would consider a ponytail to be something that wouldn't draw attention and controversy, the opposite has occurred on Twitter. Fans and haters alike have watched Jojo Siwa grow up, and that also means they have also seen her hairline slowly recede until it is the point at which it is today. Some people are born with naturally receding hairlines, but in women, it is rarely something that happens in the middle of someone's life. The source of the receding hairline has been found, and it was the high and tight ponytail that made Jojo Siwa who she was. Twitter users held nothing back and many videos were made by hair gurus that critiqued her hair routine. The source of Jojo Siwa's receding hairline was found to be her extensively damaging ponytail. The problems stem from a multitude of things with this routine. For one, she aggressively brushes the hair, then adds way too much hairspray, which can be damaging to the hair follicles. The most egregious part of her hair routine is the amount of hair ties that she uses. Siwa uses, at a minimum, four hair ties, which is two or three too many, and many hair and makeup gurus are astonished at how aggressive and damaging her hair routine was. It's no wonder that Jojo Siwa's hairline is extremely damaging and receded. The most negative part of this is the impact it has on her fans. Young girls might watch her hair tutorials and not realize just how dangerous it is. Girls who are too young to realize the damage of too many hair products and too much force can do lasting damage. Number three, she lied. Number three, when she lied about her father being injured in a bus accident. We wanted the views, so we made up a story about a near-death experience. Um, we hope you liked it. While this was an admittedly small incident, it does put a large dent in Jojo Siwa's reputation. Last year, Jojo Siwa put up a vlog that had a clickbait title that claimed her father was injured. Within the video, Jojo and her brother describe a story in which they told the audience that their dad was hit by a bus. They said the bus just came at them and that it hit their father, severely injuring him. They claimed that he was extremely injured and was in the hospital. This convinced fans that Jojo's father was in serious trouble and that they could be life-threatening. This worried Jojo Siwa's fans, who are extremely young and impressionable, and could not tell that Siwa was lying. Later on in the vlog, Siwa and her brother confessed to the camera that it was all a lie, and that they needed something to have for a clickbait title to get views on that video. The whole entire premise of the vlog was fake. This led to public backlash. Jojo Siwa later apologized and deleted the vlog, and it cannot be found currently. Jojo Siwa was willing to lie about one of her loved ones being gravely injured just so she could get some extra clicks on a video from fans that legitimately care about her. This was a willingly deceitful, manipulative, and wrong thing to do. And although she made a small apology about the video, she 
mostly brushed it off. This does peel back the curtain, and it really gave her fans a look at how low JoJo Siwa was willing to go for views. Number four, her bows and the controversy. JoJo Siwa's bows are a huge fashion trend with young girls. Throughout many countries, young elementary and middle school girls can be seen sporting the oversized clip-on bows. However, the trend seems to have gotten out of hand, and many schools and public offices are taking action. This includes one British school, which took action by banning all JoJo Siwa bows in the entire school, claiming that it was a distraction to the kids and that the young girls were constantly fidgeting with them and playing with them in class. Many parents disagreed with the ruling, and the school district had a handful of complaints from concerned parents that either supported the ban, believing that they were a distraction, or from those who opposed it and thought nothing more of the bows than a fun fashion accessory. While this is not a very concerning incident, and it is certainly not black and white, it is another controversy that has been attached to JoJo Siwa's name. Number 5. Her makeup was recalled for asbestos. Buckle up, because this is where things get crazy. JoJo Siwa has an extensive line of products that range from makeup to hair products to clothes and backpacks. In 2019, JoJo Siwa and Nickelodeon partnered with retailer Claire's to release a JoJo Siwa makeup kit. It was a heart-shaped container that included lip gloss, eyeshadow, and an assortment of palettes. The makeup kit was a hit, as a lot of younger preteen girls, who are the largest JoJo Siwa demographic, bought up the makeup kits in droves. However, it wasn't all good. Later on, the FDA tested the product and immediately issued a recall for all of JoJo Siwa's makeup products that were sold by Claire's. The reason? The makeup kits were found to be contaminated with asbestos, which is a dangerous chemical. Asbestos comes off as tiny fibers, which when inhaled, cause irreversible cell damage to certain areas, mainly the lungs. This leads to buildup of damage and eventually cancer, including mesothelioma, which is almost exclusively caused by asbestos and is extremely dangerous. Although this is not directly her fault, the reason that asbestos may be found in her products are cheap labor used in foreign countries like China. This lazy oversight could potentially lead to young girls being hurt or damaged by the extremely poisonous effects of routine asbestos exposure. There is no doubt that most parents did not see the recall for the makeup kit, as fewer and fewer people watch the news nowadays. Many children could potentially have asbestos-tainted products that they are putting on their faces daily. Her BMW is hideous. Now, this is a prime example of great execution of a terrible idea. Since she recently turned 16 and is very wealthy, JoJo Siwa's first car was a sporty BMW. Now this is fine if she wants her first car to be a BMW sports car. Nobody would look in her direction, it just doesn't matter. But what did catch people's attention was the insane paint job that JoJo Siwa put on the sports car. In a splatter of vibrant purples, pinks, and neon blues, her car is almost blinding. Emblazoned across the front of the hood is JoJo Siwa's logo and name in addition to a giant picture of her face. The car is an eyesore and looks like it crawled out of a candy store. Not only is it in poor taste, but it is also distracting to other drivers. The car went viral when a picture of it was posted on the website Reddit, with many users openly mocking Siwa's choice in color and design. Many expressed sympathy for the person who had to custom paint the car in that way, while many users on that website were admittedly cruel and too harsh in their judgment of JoJo Siwa's car. It is certainly an odd choice that a 16-year-old would choose to paint their new BMW bright pink, blue, and purple. However, that's not the end of the story, because Justin Bieber soon posted a comment under JoJo Siwa's Instagram post, which contained a picture of the car, saying simply, burn it. While many thought that Bieber was absolutely on point with his impression of JoJo Siwa's car, there were many others that expressed their distaste of Bieber's apparently malicious attack on Siwa. Bieber soon apologized on Twitter, saying, I have nothing against you, it was the car and the colors I didn't like. I really hope you don't think I was malicious or mean-spirited. Who knew one car could stir up so much controversy? Well, that concludes our video on reasons why you will hate JoJo Siwa. Let us know which one of these you found the most awesome. And if you liked the video, then click the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you'll be the first to know when we release a new video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. A simple reminder on how to enter our brand new giveaway. We will be giving away either an iPhone X Max, the new iPad Mini, or a MacBook Pro. It's really your choice. So be sure to leave a like, comment the keyword, subscribe, and turn on notifications to enter the giveaway. It's really that simple. Go for it.